Aduh, oke okay, jadi iya. Hanya lea, hanya kuku lea. Agbal mau bo. Ago, ago, ago. My greetings to each and every one of you. Uh, I'm here again to talk about the Fun New Year celebration that is coming on on the 21st of June to 25th of June this year. And this celebration will be happening live in Keji, near Kata in the Vota region. Keji Agota, near Kata in the Vota region. And today we want to give you the benefits of the program. The reason why it is necessary for us to, you know, celebrate the Afan New Year and what the Afan New Year is all about is what we are here to give you today. And before we continue, we are going to listen to a fun song and come back and continue. Thank you very much. It is time, it is time, a fun new year. It is time for a fun new year to come to life. And all of us are going to experience the fun new year, which is coming from the 21st of June. Yes, 21st of June happens to be the new year. I repeat, every new year happens from the 21st of June, according to a first calendar. And for that matter, we are going to celebrate. We are going to observe that day as a special day because that is going to be the longest day. The day the sun will be radiating its full energy. The day the moon shall be radiating her full energy. The day the universal bodies, the universal energy shall be returning from the cosmos, from the mother of the universe. It is a day that the universal bodies are all going to radiate their full energy to humanity and to the world at large. So, we are here to give you details. And as I said earlier, the FA New Year celebration is coming on from 21st of June. Yes, 21st of June is the day the universal energies are going to embrace all of us and we have to be ready to receive this day i keep saying that the first january is never the new year that happens to be the gregorian calendar but our ancestral calendar our ancestors knowledge the efas calendar is always telling us that from 21st of every june that happens to be the first day and the first month in the new year, which we shall be giving you the calendar, we shall give you the breakdown of all of that on the day of the ceremony. And today, the benefit of the ceremony, and before the benefit, I want to give you 
what the new year is all about. Yes, when it comes to this period, the universal energies withdraw from the universe. Not totally, but the air element, the fire element, the water element, and the earth element, they withdraw some sort of percentage of their work or their energy that they radiate to humanity and to the whole universe. And for that matter, when they withdraw from the universe, we expect every human being, everything in the entire universe to also withdraw because it is going to help us. You know, if you work throughout the year and there is a need for you to withdraw into yourself for spiritual renewal, it is something that we should all embrace. And this happened on the 21st of May. This last month, 21st of May last month, was the day the universal energies withdraw from the universe. And they will be coming back from wherever they have gone to on the 21st of June. Now, the celebration or the withdrawal and the coming back of the universal energies is what we call or our ancestors call Kakbo and Kakbo. What is Kakbo? Kakbo means the life energy. When we say Ka, we are talking about the primal life forces. We are talking about the energies that gave us life. And these energies, once they reduce the percentage of work that they have been given, they have been doing, we call it Kakbo. And this is the period. So when we say Ka, we are referring to the life forces. And when we say Kakbo, meaning Ka is not going to be giving us its potentials, its full energy. And for that matter, we also have to withdraw into ourselves. Otherwise, if you use the, the little energy that you'll be having at this very moment, if you overuse it, you can get sick. So many things can happen to you. For that matter, we are advising since the first of since 21st of May, we keep advising that everybody should be very careful how you use your energy because this period is a period for us to observe. It's, 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 it is a period that we have to go within ourselves to embrace the cosmic energies when they are back. So, Kakbo means the spiritual energy that controls the whole universe have withdrawn their services. And this same period is what we call Ja. Jo. When we say Ja, we are talking about the same life energies that keep the body vibrating, that you know, keep awakening us each and every time. And if we say Ja, Jo, we are referring to the same Ka, the same energy that they have withdrawn. And for that matter, we have to observe this period. So, Kakbo or Jajo is the period that we are in right now. And this period started from the 21st of May and is going to end from the 21st of June. And the 21st of June happens to be the fun new year, happens to be the beginning of the new year. This is what we are saying or we keep saying to you all the time. Now, so I just spoke about Kapo and Jajo happens to be a period where the universal energies withdrawn from the universe and we expect you and everything in the universe to withdraw as well. This is the period that we have to have a total holiday. It is a full month holiday that one day, I believe, the universe will understand the ancient teachings and go back and pick this knowledge system. Now, 21st of June is when the energies shall be coming back and we are going to have special occasion. But I want to give you the details over here. Now, Kakbo and Kakbo, or Jajo and Jagbo, Kakbo, Kakbo, Jajo, Jagbo is the same thing. When we say Kakbo, is the same as Jajo. When we say Kakbo, is the same as Jagbo. So, when Jagbo, we are going to observe these days as well. And when we say Jagbo, or when we say Kakbo, what are we talking about? What we are talking about simply is the return of the universal energies. And when we are talking about the universal energy, remember, it is four things that constitute the entire universe. 
the air element, the fire element, the water element, and the earth element. These are the four things that constitute the entire universe. And for that matter, when we say the universal forces withdrawn, we are talking about these four energies. And from the 21st of June, the universal energies are going to return. And once they return, we are going to welcome them. And that 21st of June is the day that we are going to do Labation pouring. We are going to pour labation and respect the ancestors. And when we say we are going to respect the ancestors, we are not going to respect my ancestors alone. We are going to respect all our ancestors, the ancestors of the African continent. That is what we are going to respect that day. We are going to call any African leader that helped the African in one way or the other. And the individuals that we can capture glimpses of, we shall mention all of them that day and do a extra feeding for them. So that 21st of June is the day called Jagbo. And that day must be a public holiday. According to a fast calendar, the 21st of June must be a public holiday. In fact, it must be a universal holiday public holiday because that is the day the universal energy shall be returning and start working with their full capacity with their full radiations so we expect the entire universe to accept the 21st of june each year sometimes it can fall on the 20th of june whether it is a leap year so if it is a leap year then which shall, it shall be happening on the 20th of June. But if it is not a leap year, it shall happen on every 21st of June. That is according to a fast calendar. Now, that 21st of June is the day called Jagbo. It's the day called Kabo. It's a day for enjoyment. It's the day the entire universe is going to be happy. The creative body, the fishes, the animals, the bears, the plants, the trees, human beings, the water bodies, the air, everything is going to be enjoying that day because the full energy of the universe is coming back on 21st of June. And we expect each and every one of you to be there in Kaji, near Qatar, in the Volta region. That is where the celebration will be coming on. And the benefit of this celebration is a spiritual renewal. Each and every one of you must experience a spiritual renewal. And also, there's going to be serious protection. You know, once we are going to embrace the universal energies, bring your problems. You are going to be protected by these universal energies. If it is these four energies that constitute, that created the entire universe, the ones you embrace with these energies, nobody, nothing is able or can be capable of destroying you. That is what we are saying. So we have a spiritual renewal that is going to happen. We also have spiritual protections. All kinds of spiritual protections shall be given to you. We also have good luck in the envelope coming. Good luck and business improvement and financial breakthroughs. All of these things are going to be coming live. And also solution to our health problems. Whatever health issues that you are facing, we are promising you that believe yourself the universal energies the energies that created you know exactly what is wrong with you and what can be done for you to be fine that is what we are talking about so solution to health problems and also solution to marital problems or childbirth all of these things is coming live so from the 21st to 25th is the ceremony as I said, 21st is the day that we are going to observe, respect our ancestors and poor labation. It's the day of labation poor. It's the day of Ja. And that is the day that all the effort initiate. We are going to do what we call Ja. We are going to do Ja. Yes. My 21st of June. Me a Ja And it is coming live in Kaji, near Kata, in the Volta region. So. Once we started this in from the 21st of June, it's going to end from the 21st of June, that same month. So from 21st June to 25th June, that is what we are talking about. And 
Many people will be wondering, can they come and spend, you know, from 21st to 25th June? Well, the main event that we expect you to be there is from 23rd to 25th is a day that you cannot miss. Yes, because 23rd of June happens to be Friday and that is the night of vigil. Yes, night vigil is happening that night for us to embrace the fire energy. For us to do what? To embrace the fire energy and make one with the fire energy. That is the day that you cannot miss. Yes, and that day so many things shall be happening. Yes, things that will be of your interest shall be happening on that day. And also, from the 24th of June, that everybody is going to wear a white attire, from that 24th June, it is a day that we are going to respect the four elements of the universe. Individually, we are going to do ceremonies and initiations for the four energies that constitute or created the entire universe. When I say the universe, I meant, I meant the universe. The energies that created the entire universe, you are going to have spiritual encounter with this four universal energy. And once we respect these four energies, a lot of initiations, a lot of ceremony, a lot of breakthroughs are going to happen that day, 24th of June. And the 25th of June happens to be a day that we are going to take, you know, people's issue, your problem, we are going to be doing prayers, citations, and all of that to the Almighty Sir. When I say Sir, you know, I say the four energies, the four energies that constitute the entire universe, the entire universe that you see, we have four energies that is controlling them. And these four energies are intact, and that day we are going to observe them accordingly. And the Sunday that we are going to Pay homage to what we call Papasa. Papasa happens to be the source of the universe. So when we say the universal energies have withdrawn, you have to understand that they have gone to the source of the universe. And the source of the universe is what we call Sa. That is the reason why anything that is corrupted in the universe, you say you should go and give it to Sa to be free. Sa vo. Hey, na vekwene Sa na vo. So go and give it to Sir the Almighty Source of the Universe so that all your problems shall be solved. So these are what we shall be expecting from 21st to 25th of June. And we expect all of you that can be able to make it there. Those of you who cannot come, those of you who are in a diaspora, who cannot be able to make it, you can call us and we can take whatever issues that you want to send across. We will receive them and do prayers on your behalf. And for you to be able to get solutions to your problem. So, as I said, the location is Keji near Kata in the Volta region. I repeat, the location where the ceremony, the Afan New Year is going to happen is called Keji near Kata in the Volta region. That is where the celebration, the Afan New Year celebration is going to happen. And I am telling you that 21st of June must be a public holiday. 21st of June, according to a fast calendar, it must be a universal holiday, not just Ghana, Togo, or Africa, the entire universe. And I believe a day will come, it shall be made possible. So, and we expect each and every one of you to be there. I don't want to go far. We want to play our song again for us to be able to get to the energetic aspect of the EFA New Year celebration. So as I said, it is a fun New Year celebration. It is a celebration that is going to help each and every soul. Yes, it is a new year. It is a renewal. You understand? When Once you have traveled from the beginning of the year to the end of the year, it is a long journey. You have attracted so many dead and this time around, you have to take off this dead and you know, continue the new year with good health, good peace of mind, 
with the problem being solved. So these are what we will be expecting that day. So a fun new year is coming on live and colored in Kaji near Kata in the Volta region. That is what we are going to be expecting. And I expect more and more and more. And I am going to repeat myself again and again and again. That 21st of June is the beginning of the ceremony. And that day is the main day called Jagbo or Kabo. It is a cosmic cycle. It is a whole cosmic cycle. So when the cycle comes to an end, we call it Kakbo. So the Kakbo happened from the 21st of May. And 21st of June is what we call Kakbo, the new beginning of the new cycle. That is what we have for you. So those of you who are interested, you can do call for directions. The, call, the, the telephone number is on the screen. You can contact us anytime, any day. Thank you very much. My name is Tutusau.